Hey Scorpio, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for what you need to know right now. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And this is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. And we have the world card at the bottom of the deck. Um, just kind of heard that if you feel like things are changing, it's because they are. And this might be specific to a connection or a relationship. Don't know why, but that's the first thing that came through. So if you feel like things are changing, it means that they are right behind the world at the bottom of the deck, which on its own resembles change and new beginnings and um, new chapters is the lovers which is gemini and then the death card which is you scorpio but it is also the card of transformation change evolution rebirth and then the eight of cups so some of you could be walking away from a situation and that is why things are changing or for some of you you could be walking towards something and that is why things are changing but re either way there's a movement, there's change, there's some sort of a transformation. And I feel like with the world, it's being very um, apparent. It's very obvious to you now that something is different, maybe again, between you and a different person. Um, but let's see, we have the temperance, which is Sagittarius, the seven of swords, queen of swords, and the king of swords. So even here, we have a divine pairing with the king and the queen of swords. Maybe you're connecting to an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini maybe a Sagittarius, maybe you have Sagittarius placements. But again, it's like temperance could also resemble the fact that there is something that's changing with time or you're starting to see that time is changing things, right? You know, we always hear um, time will tell, time will heal all, all wounds, right? There's always, you know, the, these cliche sort of quotes related to time and how it, time is going to somehow fix or improve a situation. But I definitely feel like for you, Scorpio, you are seeing that be true in some way, shape or form in your personal life where you're starting to see, okay, this amount of time has passed and yes, things have changed. Maybe there was a betrayal, maybe there was something um, in the recent past that occurred that made you feel very differently about somebody. But I just feel like right now with the Queen and the King of Swords, there's just a different energy here. Um, so let's see, let's clarify the Seven of Swords. And we have the moon, which is cancer. Um, but again, it speaks to the unknown about a situation, maybe the unknown about a commitment. Or the moon could just simply resemble right now, Scorpio, that you're still trying to figure out exactly what this all means. Some of you could just be confused about what you feel right now about this situation. We have the king of, or sorry, the knight of cups knight of pentacles and then the hierophant which is taurus so i kind of feel like the knight of cups and the knight of pentacles could resemble um, the energy between you and someone else maybe you're connecting to an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn uh, i feel like with a hierophant here there is something about you trying to navigate this commitment or trying to navigate this relationship for some of you there could be a uh, proposal or a marriage or an engagement um, but i just feel like you're looking at sort of the long-term um, effects of what whatever's going on. Uh, for some of you, I feel like you could be thinking about whether or not this situation is happening because something is meant to be, or if this situation is happening because it is not. It's like you're kind of in between trying to understand um, what time is really trying to tell you, or what you know, this change that's happening between you and someone is really trying to tell you. So let's go ahead and clarify the um, temperance. And we have the high priestess, which is Pisces, but again, it is the energy of your intuition. So for some of you, Scorpio, I kind of feel like there is something about you kind of getting a second chance or a second look um, or a second try at an opportunity. And I feel like part of you is trying to, you know, figure out exactly why, like why something is happening again, or why there is this situation happening again. 
we have the Wheel of Fortune, the King of Cups, and the Ace of Wands. So I definitely feel like something has happened in the recent past that is changing your perspective about some connection, some situation. Uh, maybe you're connecting with the water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Maybe this King of Cups is your energy, kind of your um, you know, desires, your interests in moving something forward, but not wanting to do so unless it is meant to last. Right, because I kind of feel like with that wheel of fortune, you're not going to invest in this unless it is for a long-term commitment. Um, some of you are not interested in a casual or short-term relationship or investment or connection. So it's kind of like you're really trying to listen to your intuition here, because you could be getting also maybe some mixed signals. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and clarify the King of Swords. And we have the Knight of Swords. It feels like the changes that have been happening have been very um, kind of like out of nowhere. So we have the Three of Pentacles, the Devil, which is Capricorn, and the Tower. So that Tower also kind of speaks to this change, this transformation that's happening right now. I feel like with the Three of Pentacles, maybe there's something going on in your workplace related to this connection. Maybe there's something going on in your home related to this connection. Maybe something happened recently in this place where you and this person share maybe the most amount of time together. And I feel like that could also be creating a little bit of this confusion um, maybe with the devil, some of you are concerned about what something will do to affect the relationship. Some of you could be concerned about how your job is affecting your relationship or how your relationship is affecting your job. I don't know. It just kind of feels like this devil energy is, is bringing this cause and effect kind of um, theme. And then with the three of pentacles in the tower, it's like something here is connected. Right, it's like this is universe saying this isn't independent of something else. Um, it sounds complicated, but I'm just not doing the best job at explaining the energies, I guess. But um, let's clarify the Queen of Swords. High Priestess, again, at the bottom of the deck. So you're really trying to listen to your intuition here. Because again, it, it feels like you're either getting mixed signals or you're just trying to understand, maybe even asking yourself, what is the meaning of this? Why is this happening? You know, why exactly am I being led to this situation again? Um, or, you know, if this is something that's happening for the first time, um, it just doesn't seem 100% clear to you at the moment. We have the Two of Swords, King of Pentacles, and the Eight of Cups. I feel like with the Eight of Cups here, Two of Swords and King of Pentacles, it's almost like you could be connecting with somebody, Scorpio, that sometimes makes themselves seem available, but then takes themselves out of the equation just as quickly. So you're constantly kind of, you know, going back and forth with somebody. So it just kind of feels like they don't know where they stand with you or they don't know what they want. So they're playing this game of showing up, leaving, coming back, going right so it's like there's a lack of stability here but then when you are with this person it can feel very real it can feel very magnetic very passionate so with that king of pentacles it's almost like there's something very alluring about this energy and yet when it leaves it kind of brings you back to this sort of questioning of you know what's actually going on here you know because there's a tug of war um kind of thing it's like again someone's one foot in one foot out so that's why it kind of feels like you're trying to understand what's the meaning of this? Why is this happening? You know, why is there this kind of like wishy-washy energy? All right, let's clarify <clears throat> the tower. And we have the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So there is a solution to this. There is a, you know, there is a happy ending here. It's not like the universe is saying, Scorpio, this is not built to last. This is not going to work. This is a disaster. Nothing like that. In, in fact, I feel like the reason why this energy is coming through it was, is because the universe wants you to acknowledge the potential and the good that exists, even with all of this confusion, even with all of this back and forth. Right behind the Ten of Cups is the Sun, which is Leo. Some of you could be connecting to a Leo, to a Leo or have Leo placements. But to further clarify the Tower, we have the Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles. So right now with the Seven of Wands, I feel like someone is either resisting change in order to be in this connection, or someone is resisting the connection in order to go through with a change. 
So just, you know, kind of depends on your unique situation, but I feel like that's what's going on. It's like there's a lot of resistance here. Someone is either afraid of change or they're changing and are afraid that this relationship is going to get in the way of that. So with that eight of wands and that eight of pentacles, it's like the universe is saying there's a lot of potential here for this to work if both parties are involved. But also there has to be some sort of communication that right now doesn't exist. Someone is either holding back and that's what's kind of stopping this situation from moving forward or the tower is saying that soon there will be communication that's going to create a tower moment that's going to help kind of sort of destroy the resistance and get back to this path of like actually seeing progress um, in this connection that then eventually will lead to that ten of cups in the sun but until all of that happens it's like we can't just expect it to be that easy Right behind the sun is the five of wands and then the four, the five of cups, right? So this is that internal conflict. This is that sadness. These two are behind the potential energy because the universe wants to emphasize that the work needs to be done, right? We, we have to kind of um, either admit this energy of resistance and fear and all of that, or, you know, it's going to be very hard to kind of get past it. So very interesting energy. If you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.